Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bhavya Jha, Fellow in Reproductive Medicine at International Fertility Center. Today I'm going to talk about how, how fibroid uterus affects fertility in a woman. Uh, so fibroid uterus that is leomyoma, it is an excessive pro proliferation of smooth muscles in our uterus. So what happens, there's a benign mass which is formed anywhere in the uterus causing infertility in few of the patients. So a leomyoma or fibroid uterus, it can be present anywhere in the uterus, that is in the outermost, that is the subserosal layer, or it could be intramural, that is in the proper um, uh, muscular layer of the uterus, or in the endometrial cavity, that is the submucous fibroid uterus. Or it can be, uh, the number can be many, then we call it multiple fibroid uterus. So how fibroid uterus causes infertility. The mechanism is that because of the submucous fibroid or in few cases intramural uh, fibroid, the uterine cavity, it gets distorted. So the implantation does not take place properly and hence there is infertility. Also because of uh, intramural fibroids, if they are very large in size, they can distort the cavity and hence the sperm mobility is uh, hampered. Also there is Hox genes which is present in the uterus for implantation. In case of fibroid uterus, even that is suppressed. Then there are vascular changes, excessive bleeding. These are the causes which also cause infertility in such women. So what, how can we help such women? So there for, for causing infertility in fibroid uterus, we do a myomectomy for them that can be open myomectomy or lap myomectomy. So myomectomy is removal of the fibroid from the uterine cavity so that we get a good cavity for, for implantation if we are planning uh, infertility treatment for them. So it can be uh, laparoscopically done in which we, uh, we insert a scope uh, through, the, uh, through the abdomen. A big incision is not made and with smaller cuts we, we take that fibroid out and um, the patient does not need to stay for a longer time. It is a daycare procedure. We discharge them the next day. Bleeding is also less. Formation, chances of formation of adhesions due to surgery is also less. So these are the um, method of doing a, a myomectomy. Also, there is hystros hystroscopy that can be done. If the, if the fibroid uterus lies in the internal cavity, then it is much easier as we can insert a scope through the vagina. We don't have to put any cut. And after doing a hystroscopy, we, uh, during the uh, a hystroscopy procedure, we remove the myoma and thus we get an intact cavity. So these are the procedures by which we can remove the fibroid uterus for enhancing the fertility of the patient. So we have to take a decision that if a uh, myomectomy is required or not. So that depends on the type of myoma. So if it is a subserosa, that means outermost part of the uterus, then usually it is not required. If it is intramural and size is more than 4 centimeters, or if it is protruding inside the cavity or changing the shape of the cavity, then a myomectomy is required. If it is a submucus, uh, even if it's small, but it's a submucous fibroid, they mostly intrude in the cavity and spoiling the lining of the cavity. Then we usually do a lab myomectomy. So these are the um, causes why infertility is caused in a fibroid, fibroid uterus patient. And this is, this is how at our center, at International Fertility Center, we can help you with your fibroid uterus and enhance your fertility in the coming cycles. Thank you.